Okay, so what you want to start off with is the back for this layer. So we're going to start off with a log facing towards the back, a log facing up next to it, an upside down stair on the end of this log with two slabs on the end, then one, two, three, four blocks next to that log, followed by grabbing nether brick slabs and we're going to go one, two, three, four, leave a gap, one, two, three, four, Followed by um, two spruce going one, oop, one, two, then two across here, then one up here. We're then going to place two slabs, oops, two slabs on the end of this, and one slab here on the end of this two blocks of spruce. Then, once you've done that, what you can then do is go to the front of the ship, and we're going to start going that way um, so on the front you want to be placing a log followed by an upside down stair on the end two spruce planks two logs facing towards the back of the ship then a spruce stair and a spruce slab after that you then want to um, on the second spruce block you're gonna go two spruce blocks then a single spruce block then two, then a slab, then a brick, then a slab, leave a gap, then another slab, then a brick, followed by another slab, another brick, then a slab on the end or the, in front of that brick with an upside down stair, a slab, and an upside down stair with a block on the end of that. Once you've done that, uh, you then want to go upside down stair, um, facing towards the front of the ship, with a spruce gate next to it, and then an upside down stair next to that. Leave two blocks, then another upside down stair, a fence gate, and an upside down stair, like so. We're then going to work a bit on the centre, so in the centre you want to be placing um, uh, wooden logs on top of each of the chisel stone with oak fences connecting them, followed by a right way around stair, a right way around stair, upside down stair in between them, then a sort of cross of blocks with another stair, another stair of course. You then want to be taking oakwood planks, and we're going to start off by going four across there. That's pretty much it for those planks, actually. And then we're going to grab, oops, normal planks, and we're going to go two, four, and then across. I'm just going to connect it up to the centre, really. And then in the centre of this front part, we're going to grab some iron bars, and we're going to go iron bar, iron bar, iron bar. Then some wooden planks to connect up to those iron bars, like so. And once you've got them in place, you grab some oak wood slabs, oops, and some jungle wood slabs, and we're going to go two jungle wood and oak wood. Grab a nether brick slab and place that next to the jungle wood slab, like so. so. They're all connecting up quite nicely. Then once you've done that, we're going to go back to where these stairs are. Let me just find where we are. We're going to leave. Uh, that can't be right. Wait. So we got. Oh wait. There we go. Two gaps. Uh, then one upside down. Okay. So we got this again. So we're going to go block. Followed by upside down nether stair, um, a slab, then another upside down nether stair with a block, with a slab on the front of there, like so. And once you've done that, here we're going to be having, so we need some junk, more jungle wood stuff. So we're going to have jungle wood slab, jungle wood, we've got jungle wood stair. Up, uh, upper part slab and another stair 
like so. Followed by, if I can find my place, so we got the stair, the slab, the stair. Followed by, according to this, it's another block with the upside down stair. So we've got two blocks there, then upside down stair, or nether, nether brick stair. Followed by that and then a slab. Yep, that's pretty much correct. Uh, I think we'll just replace this one with a spruce wood uh, block instead. And also place on there as well. So it's quite, coming together quite nicely. We're then going to go behind here again. Place in three blocks of um, oak wood. Grab some jungle wood again. Place in jungle wood behind here so it's on top of here just like we've done on these ones before and once we've done that we can start to fill in the back so we're going to grab some oak wood and we're actually just going to fill in the back not too far because we actually have to place in some other stuff so here we're going to place in um, a stair an upside down stair a stair an upside down stair a stair an upside down stair, a stair, and an upside down stair, and a block in the center. Then once you've done that, you want to be taking oak wood slabs again. And we're going to go, so for this we'd have, uh, da -da -da. I just need to grab some jungle wood slabs. We're going to go a jungle wood slab there, followed by oak wood slab, oak wood slab. Oak wood slab, oak wood slab, oak wood slabs, and oak wood slab. Block there, so we have this little ramp that leads up onto here. And then once you've done that, you can pretty much, I think, let me just have a one last check. Yep, what you can now do is copy everything you've just done um, to this layer, um, over to the other side of the layer. I'm going to quickly do that, you do the same, and I'll be right back to you. This layer what you want to do is start off with the front and we're going to place an oak wood facing upwards with an upside down stair on the front of that two spruce planks an oak wood a stair and a slab followed by two oak uh, two spruce planks on the side of this um, spruce wood followed by a slab a plank then a slab with, if I have one, um, an upper half nether brick slab next to it, with a spruce wood slab next to that, a nether brick block next um, attached to that slab, and a slab next to that nether um, brick block. You then want to be going to the back of the boat and placing nether brick um, on its own, with an upside down stair next to it. A slab, a slab, diagonal from it, and then two slabs, then upside down, slab, upside down, slab, upside down, stair, slab, upside down, stair, slab, upside down, stair, and then one, two, three, four bricks of nether, like so. Next to this slab, we're just going to quickly place in um, a nether brick just there, just so we have a bit of a marker. Sorry, my mouse went a bit weird then. Um, then we're going to go upside down stair, upside down stair, spruce fence in the center, then take our stone slabs and we're going to go stone slab, stone slab, stone slab, on top of the stair, the gate and the stair. We're going to replace this block here with a slab to make it a bit more of a ramp because that's what we were meant to do before but um, we've got a bit of ahead of ourselves. Um, then what you want to do is take some stone brick slabs and we're going to go slab, slab on top of the wooden logs. In the center of these areas we're going to be placing a spruce wood plank with oak wood pointing in every direction. And then on each face we're going to be placing a simple button to split up the detail like so. We do the same to the other mast of course. Mm. 
like so. Then, once you've done that, what you can then do is grab some oak wood planks, and we're going to go one, two, three, then two, then two again. Then we're going to grab some jungle wood slabs, and we're going to go two slabs. And that should connect up to there quite nicely. Yeah, it does. Then once we've got that in, we're going to take some oak slabs and we're going to go across there and then up to the center obviously we're going to mirror everything um, afterwards but for now we're just going to place in the sort of body of the structure like so once you got that in you want to once again grab your stairs um, your gates and also this time you're going to grab a spruce fence and we're going to start off by going Upside down stair, gate, upside down stair, then a spruce fence, followed by, if I can get the right angle, another upside down stair. Once you've got that, you can then place um, another block, followed um, by, I think it's another stair, um, but we can check that in a minute. For now, we're just going to go back to the back, um, just so I can uh, sort of have a bit of a ponder and think about what it is. And we're going to place a block, an oak wood, an oak wood up to the centre, drag it across, and then fill in this area with blocks of oak wood, like so. And then what we're going to do, so we've got that to there and I believe it is so I need to grab some oak wood planks and we're just going to go three then two then two again or just up to there actually grab the oak wood again drag these all across till it meets and there we have a little ramp that leads up to the upper section like so so what you want to do here is you want to be taking some nether brick slabs and we're going to first off place three on the front, then one, then another one, and then finally another one there. But to be fair you could place a stair in if you wanted it to link with here. But I think what I'm going to do is place in a block instead so it sort of links up and curves round to meet um, the rest of the boat structure. So I think that's pretty much it for this layout. So what you want to do is copy what you've just done to the other side as well. So I'm going to quickly go and build the same onto the other side. You do the same and I'll be right back to you. This layer, what you want to start off with is by placing a spruce plank followed by a slab, followed by two logs, a stair and a slab. Then you want to be placing an upper slab followed by um, a block, then a slab. Once you've got that in, you want to be, do, be doing an upper slab next to the slab we already placed, followed by a lower spruce slab with a block with a slab next to it attached to that slab, like so. That's pretty much the front part done. Then once you've done that, you want to be placing a gate in the centre above your nether um, slabs, followed by, if I have them in my inventory, a stair facing towards the gate in the centre, followed by a gate, um, another stair, sorry, another upside down stair, another upside down stair, followed by a fence, and another upside down stair facing towards the fence you then want to be taking stone slabs and going one two three four five stone slabs going across going over to this side you want to be placing one two three slabs yep uh, and then placing oops an upside down stair here 
with oh there's some here actually a wooden log next to it and some bits we miss we just want to be replacing that slab with a block placing an oak wood there taking oak fences and going oak fence oak fence followed by so we're going to go to the back now and we're going to go spruce spruce fence 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 from the center then across down across down down again then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve planks from the wooden log going up we take an oak wood slab place that on the end on the upper half of the block once you've got that in you want to be doing going a block just above this gap here with an upper half slab next to it and once you've got that in you may have noticed our tripwire hook earlier so we're gonna grab one of them again we're gonna go tripwire hook leave a gap tripwire hook leave a gap tripwire hook in those gaps we're gonna be placing an upside down stair an upside down stair and another upside down stair Next to these upside downstairs, we're going to take a notebook stair and place that next to the upside down stair on the end, followed by yet another upside down stair. Once you've got that in, on the center point, you want to be placing a spruce wood plank with upside down stairs going around them. On both of these, of course. Going around just like that. Then, in the center of this, you want to be placing, well, fish rough, you want to make sure you've got everything, like I keep failing to do. And you want to be placing an oak wood pointing upwards, followed by a stair here, and then obviously mirrored on the other side. And then here, you want to be placing another oak wood with another stair. And then obviously mirrored on the other side so now that we've actually got all of them in place we can actually mirror everything we've just done to the other side so i'm going to quickly go and do that you do the same and i'll be right back to you okay so for this layer what you want to be doing is taking your oakwood log uh, oakwood planks and we're going to start off by going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh sorry 14 going this way with one across here with a slab on the end followed by one two three four then another slab remove the four blocks we just placed then you're gonna go slab block then a slab like so then you're gonna go right way around stair upside down stair right way around stair Upside down here, stair here as well. Then upside down stair, right way around stair, upside down stair. Followed by a block on top of that stair. An upside down stair, diagonal from that stair. A stone slab on top of that upside down stair. Then we're going to go around to the front and go slab, 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 slab. And slab to the centre just so we're able to do the centre stuff. Oakwood stair, an oakwood block, oakwood block, oakwood stair, and if you want to at this point you can probably place in your doors, I like to use the spruce doors for this build um, because they look more sort of ship based and uh, almost piratey as well. Um, so we're only going to have a single door in this one because it's a fairly small ship. Once you're doing that, you then want to go to the front, and what you're going to do is place two logs with spruce stair spruce slab then upside down stair and a slab then you're going to be wanting to take what we're actually also going to do is actually remove that slab there and there as well because it did, it just looked a bit out of place and i didn't i don't quite know why it was there in the first place then we're going to place a slab a slab with a block to sort of finish off the curve which connects to the main um, body of the ship going around then in the center of the ship we're going to grab some cobblestone walls and we're going to place 
four walls going round, and then a log pointing upwards, so we can start making our mast properly. So once you've done that, what you then want to do is copy everything you've just done to the other side. I'm going to quickly do the same, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so for the last layer of this episode, what you want to start off with is by going to the front, placing two logs on top of the stair and slab, with a stair and a slab behind it, and an upside down stair and a slab in front of those two logs. You then want to go to the center masts and place a log with a fence behind it, so a log with a fence. Now, you may have noticed I've just quickly got rid of this bit. It's because we've actually missed um, placing a log with a fence next to it. Um, and we're also going to place in another log with a fence on it, like so. Then place an upside down nether brick stair and a slab next to it. Followed by taking some oak wood planks. And we're just going to start off by putting them all across till they're one over that slab. Then we're going to place another slab on the end of that. Take some nether brick slabs, place a slab, a block, a slab, like so. Then we're going to place an oak fence on top of each stair and then leave a gap, place it again. This should realistically be another brick slab so, so it goes that sort of angle I don't know why there was a, um, a uh, full block there to be fair then we want to be placing in glowstone 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 between all of the fences we want to take a trapdoor place the trapdoor on the front face of each glowstone then another block on top of that sort of already row of blocks. Take the wooden stairs again, place an upside down stair next to that fence. Then once you have that, you want to be going to the back, placing a glowstone on top of the random floating slab with trapdoors all around it. You then want to be taking another oak wood slab and placing one in the center of both of those floating areas. At the back here you want to be placing another oak wood, then um, an oak plank block, then an upside down stair, then a log with an upside down stair, and then I think it's an upside down stair there as well, but I might have to check that in a second. On this front part, you want to be placing a block, an oak wood stair, and then an upside down stair, like so. Quite simple. And then having one last check over to make sure we've got everything sort of in place. Pretty sure we do. So what you now want to do, once you've got all of that in place, is replicate everything you've just built to the other side of the structure, uh, other, other side of the boat, just like we've done before. I'm going to quickly do the same. And I'll be right back to you. Okay, so just before we end, minor adjustment is just adding these one block more um, towards the back. And then finally, we're going to head off to the front and we're just going to place in um, the sail. So we're going to start off by placing one block away, then three white, remove that um, block, then a grey, a grey, and a grey followed by three white on this side, so it's one, two, three, followed by a white, then a grey, then two whites, a, a grey on the end, and then two whites this way. Below that, we're going to be placing one, two, three across, and then leave a three block gap, placing a white, one, two, three. And then from that, we know that there's a white here and here. 
Then one block away, we've got one here as well. On this other side, we've once again got two, followed by one diagonal, like so. And on the very bottom, you've got so we've got that layer, that layer, and then one, two, three, four, five across. And then you go two in this direction, so we've got one, two, two are there, I think. It's either there or somewhere else. It's there, sorry. And then we've got one there. Remove those. And there we have uh, a bit of our forward sails. So now that we've done that, we've done all the layers for this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And also tune in for next time. We'll be working on five more layers. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.